This is Owen with Stellar City. In a surprise move, Universal released the first full-length trailer to Jurassic World, the fourth installment in the Jurassic Park franchise two days early. The first film showed us the wonders of Jurassic Park from the perspective of scientists. In Jurassic World, we get a glimpse at many of those same attractions as the park's visitors experience them. Today, we're going to take a look at the various references to the original film contained within this new trailer. We are only going to be discussing the similarities to the original film, not Lost World or Jurassic Park 3. It wouldn't be a Jurassic Park movie without kids in peril, and here we kick things off with the Lex and Tim of Jurassic World, Zack and Gray. Thank you for going on this trip. You have so much fun. We miss you. And remember, if something chases you. I love the friends. They were great. Kids who end up on any of InGen's islands are usually escaping a bad situation back home, and that seems to hold true in this case. Next up is a callback to the first time we ever saw Isla Nublar from Hammond's helicopter. This time we're on a ferry to the island, and we are presumably headed to the boat dock that Nedry failed to locate the first time around. The park gates are back and have been relocated closer to the shoreline. The previous small capacity SUV tour vehicles have been replaced with a monorail, keeping with the spirit of the guided excursion on rails and maintaining the same roofed window design. The Gallimimus herd is back, but instead of running for cover like Grant and the kids, these tourists are safely in a vehicle, at least for now. Another new ride vehicle continues the tradition of glass enclosures as Tim and Lex, I, I mean Zack and Gray, experience an up-close brachiosaur encounter that recalls Dr. Grant's first sighting of a live dino. Tim would love this part. In a two-for-one twist on the raptor's steak dinner and the goat that was used to tempt the T-Rex, Jurassic World guests are treated to a shark being used to lure what appears to be a Tylosaurus out of the water. Excellent. Park scientists are still hard at work in the lab, but no sign of Dr. Wu yet. Evacuate the island. Yep. Orders to evacuate the island recall previous events when Hammond was forced to bring the tour vehicles back early due to the hurricane. If the similarities hold true, it's likely already too late. In the same way that Sattler and Muldoon discovered Lex and Tim's trashed SUV in Jurassic Park, Owen and Claire search for clues around a shattered orb, uh, likely the same one that carried the children just moments earlier. This Ian Freeze moment has us wondering if the new dino's vision is based on movement. Could it be a T-Rex and Velociraptor hybrid? We hope so. The references keep coming with a classic run and a callback to Tim and Lex in the kitchen. Are you as excited to return to Isla Nublar as we are? Did we miss anything awesome in this trailer? Let us know in the comments below, and we will see you in the theaters next June. Yeah, but your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Two species separated by 65 million years of evolution have just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together. How can we possibly have the slightest idea of what to expect? You just went and made a new dinosaur? Probably not a good idea.